then the universal set, the list of all possible last digits of phone numbers would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are all the possibilities for the last digit of a phone number. What is the element symbol? We use this symbol, which looks kind of like the letter E, for is an element of or is a member of or belongs to a particular set. And we use that element symbol with a slash through it to stand for is not an element of, is not a member of. Well, let's fill in the blank for each of the following with either is an element or is a member of or is not an element of. Number, the first question here is, is 5 a member of the set that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in it? 5 is inside this set. It is listed as a member of the set. So 5 is an element of this set. The next question is, is 3 an element of the set of all x, such that x is an even natural number? This is uh, set builder notation. I want to write it in roster notation for a moment. Even natural numbers, 2, 4, 6, dot, 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 the pattern continues. Is 3 an element of or a member of this set? No. So 3 is not an element of the set of all x, such that x is an even natural number. The next question is, is 6 an element of or a member of the set of all y such that y is a multiple of 3? Well, I want to go from set builder notation to roster notation and list the first few multiples of 3, basically counting by 3. 3, 6, 9, 12. The pattern continues. Is 6 an element of or a member of this set? Yes, it is. The next question is, is 17 an element of the set of all z such that z is a natural number and z is between 14 and 17? Well, I would like to list the natural numbers between 14 and 17. And the natural numbers between 14 and 17 are 15 and 16. 17 is not an element of this set. The next question is, is 17 an element of the set of all z, such as z is a natural number, and z is between 17, excuse me, between 14 and 17, but notice this says including 17. So this would be the natural numbers that are greater than 14, well that would be 15, 16, and 17 would be included because of the or equal to. 17 is an element of or a member of this set. The next question is, is the set 5 an element or a member of the set that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in it? The set 5 is not listed inside this set, so it is not an element of or a member of that set. And then the last question involving the element symbol is, is the set 5 a member of the set that contains the set 1, the set 2, the set 3, the set 4, the set 5, the set 6, and the set 7? Yes, the set 5 is an element or a member of this set. The next slide is saying, what is the cardinal number of a set? The cardinal number of a set is the number of elements in a set. In other words, the cardinal number of set A is the number of elements in set A. Well, rather than writing out in words the cardinal number of set A, we use an abbreviation. This abbreviation is supposed to be read the cardinal number of set A, but I have to confess I think of this as the number of elements in set A. A set is finite if its cardinal number is a whole, no, is a whole number, an infinite set is one that is not finite. We're going to find the cardinal number of each set. Set A has dog, cat, and horse in it. Set A has one, two, three members, so the cardinal number for set A is three. Set B is the set of all x such that x is an odd natural number less than 7. Well, I would like to write that in roster notation. All of the odd natural, excuse me, odd natural number less than 8. All of the odd natural numbers less than 8. 1, 3, 5, and 7. Those are all of the odd, odd natural numbers less than 8. There are 1, 2, three, four elements are members of this set. So the cardinal number for set B, the number of elements in set B, would be four. C is the set of all y's such that y is a natural number 
and 4 is less than or equal to y is less than 6. In other words, we want all the natural numbers starting at and including 4 up to but not including 6. So all of the natural numbers starting at and including 4 up to but not including 6 will be 4 and 5. There are two elements in this set, so the cardinal number for this set is 2. Set D is the empty set, which can also be written this way. Braces with nothing in it. How many elements in that set? There are no elements or zero elements in that set. The cardinal number is zero. Now set E is a set whose elements, who, whose members are sets. Set E has the following elements or members. The set A, the, the set that has A in it, the set that has B and C in it, the set that has D, E, and F in it, the set that has G, H, I, and J in it, and the set that has K, L, M, N, O in it. Set E has one, two, three, four, five elements or members in it. The cardinal number for set E is five. And finally, set F is 10, 11, 12, dot, dot, dot. The pattern continues up to and including 25. And, and you could count 10, 11, 12 all the way up to 25. But I noticed these are consecutive natural numbers. And this reminds me of back when we were doing credit card problems. If we were trying to figure out how many days you had a particular balance, that was consecutive uh, natural numbers there as well. And you know we could count the days. Or we could use a little shortcut, high minus low plus 1. This works when you're looking at consecutive natural numbers here. And so if we did that, 25 minus 10 is 15, plus 1 is 16. And if you want, you can count 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 25 to check and see that you do indeed have 16 members or elements of that set.